What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm going to show you how to connect your microphone into your interface and your interface into your computer so you can get your microphone working with Logic Pro nicely and seamlessly. I've been getting a lot of questions on this so um, I figured I will basically post a video showing you the step by step how to do it and how to set it up in Logic Pro. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first step we're going to do is grab our microphone, take the female end of our XLR cable and plug it into the microphone, into the male socket right there, and place it down next to your interface. The next step you gotta do is locate the channel in which you wanna plug your microphone into. In this case, I selected channel one. Next, plug in the connection that's gonna go from your interface into your computer. In this case, it's a USB connection. Next, locate an available USB connection to your computer and plug it in. The next step is to see if your microphone requires 48 volt phantom power. If it does, turn it on. Most condenser mics do require this phantom power to be on in order for you to actually hear yourself when you're talking into your microphone. So make sure that is on if it requires it. And then go ahead and adjust your gain to the appropriate input level. All right, so now that you plugged your microphone into your audio interface, your interface into your computer, you made sure phantom power is on if you needed it, you're ready to open up Logic and uh, begin recording through your microphone into your computer and sending your inputs and your outputs to your audio interface that you just connected. So once you connect it and Logic Pro is already open, you will get this message right here that says it's scanning your system for audio devices and that device has been found and it'll show you your audio interface that you have connected. Now, if this doesn't show up, then you probably need to download your firmware for your interface online. So either it came with it as a, in a CD format or you can find it probably online. Download it, install the software, and then Logic will have it. A lot of times Mac already has the actual uh, firmware that it needs, but um, sometimes you're gonna need to install it from the company itself so just keep that in mind if you're not seeing your list so from there you can either hit yes or no or i'm going to show you another way right now you go to preferences go to audio let me just drag it in from my other window here so right now we got built-in output uh, selected as our main outputs and inputs if we want to use our interface we're going to go to here and click our audio interface that we see so in this case mine is an m audio mobile pre i'm going to click it and automatically the output and input device will be the same. Logic will change it for you. You'll hit apply changes. So that's it, Logic has changed it. You're gonna close that out. Create a new audio track, mono, and then you can select your input that you wanna record. So on my interface, I only have two channels, one and two. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and record on channel one because that is the channel that I plug my mic into. Create. Let's get the inspector right here. And right now, as you see, you are not seeing any levels as I'm talking. That is because I haven't hit record arm on my um, on my uh, Logic Pro right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit record arm because right now, as you notice, you're not seeing any levels right here as I'm talking. But if I hit either this I for input or R for record arm, you're gonna see my levels go up and down. And hello, this is a test one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then if you see that your volume is a little bit low or it's not really where you want it, you can go ahead and adjust your gain. So you can make it a little bit louder or you can make it a little bit lower as you may. Just adjust your gain on your audio interface. And then it's very simple. Right now you are seeing the levels through my interface and my microphone that I connected to it. I have my phantom power on because this is a condenser mic that requires the uh, 48 volts of power. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit R on my keyboard to record. One, two, three, four. Hello, this is a test. I have connected my microphone into my interface and I'm recording through that into Logic Pro. And there you go right there. There is your audio waveform. Once you have completed it, you can go back and edit and do what you want. As you can see, since I have record arm, it is still picking up my mic levels right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select that off and it's gone. Or you can just leave eye on as well and you will see the um, your levels going up and down right here on the side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
And that's pretty much it. That's what you do to connect a microphone into your interface into Logic Pro. Very simple, very easy. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And um, yeah, more good videos coming soon, guys. So remember to rate. Actually, just remember to subscribe. I don't think you can rate anymore. It's just either thumbs up or thumbs down. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Talk to you soon. Later.